Have you ever asked yourself, how do the kits today compare to Diamond Art Club kits from 2020? And I have an actual look at that today. So hang on and let's get started. Hey y'all, welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. Today I have a completion of Sitara. And as I mentioned earlier, this is from Diamond Art Club. The artist is Mika Jelena, and it's the first time that I have done one of her paintings, and I really enjoyed this one. Didn't take me a long time. I love all the colors, but I did purchase this back in April of 2020. This is the oldest Diamond Art Club canvas that is in my stash. I actually have four others I bought at the same time, but this one was the one that came in first, and I'm going to use this one as my oldest. But I really enjoyed this. Um, there's some major differences between 2020 and today's canvases. One of the major differences is that Diamond Art Club at that time was not using resin drills, which is what they're using today. These are all acrylic drills. It, it, they are round. Um, there's not any gapping in this, which I was really surprised. I was expecting to have quite a bit of gapping and there's not. Didn't have hardly any trash, which I was really surprised because I figured that there would be quite a bit of trash. There was some in three tins, um, so th some things never change. Um, we still have issues with three tins throughout all companies, it seems like. The darker colors seems to always um, give me more of a problem, but these lay down really well. And if you're wondering if a painting that may be in your stash for a long time, how does the actual, uh, the actual glue stand up? And my glue was fine. It was sticky all over. Did not have any issues whatsoever with that. Didn't have any issues with the actual release paper. Now with the cover on this, it was a little bit thinner than what we're used to, um, but that's okay. And this only had 19 colors. And this one I think is still available with Diamond Art Club. It has been updated. I am assuming that it's still 19 colors, but the drills are different. And the toolkit that came with this was the toolkit that they had, you know, of course, back in the day. It was just a simple boat, plate of wax and then um, it was a pin. And now with Diamond Art Club, and I have not had a chance to work with any of those that have the perforated release paper. Uh, the cover paper, of course, this one did not. This kit did come with two ABs. I thought about adding more ABs to it, but decided I wanna see what the rendering looked like back in 2020. So I did not add anything extra. The one thing that I did notice is I think the nose looks a little different um, and I could have changed that to, I wasn't sure about this gray here, but I'm going to keep it the way that it's rendered. But I think that it's really pretty and if you see it's still sparkly. It's not as sparkly as our drills today. Part of that is that this is acrylic rather than resin, but look how pretty that that is. I did not run out of any colors. I I often, I, well, I shouldn't say often, I do run out of colors every now and then with Diamond Art Club. I had plenty of drills left over. I'm not going to save these drills because of the fact that they are acrylic drills. I don't want to get these mixed up in with my resin, but did not have any problems. I still have plenty. The ones that were empty, those were extras that I had, or they were bags that I had um, to put as additional on the side there, but um, the also I thought what was interesting is that the it did come this kit not all the kits back in 2019 2020 not all of those kits came um, with stickers this one did it did not come with a small sticker it came with a large sticker and so I did cut that out I put that in my logbook. But um, the stickers that came with um, the kit for the symbols, those were not pre-cut. So I had to pre-cut those. And so that definitely took me back to my roots because from the very beginning, 
I had to pre-cut a lot of my stickers and um, I thought that was really interesting. I'm glad I don't have to do that anymore, especially with Diamond Art Club because I have so many of theirs. But I thought this turned out really, really pretty. And I did finish this on June the 5th. I'm just getting around to filming this one. You'll also see this one again in my completions for the month. But I'm really proud of it. And I may even go through this one and decide that I want this to go up in my craft room. Another thing that I thought was very interesting, if you look on the ends of this, I don't have any washi. The glue did not go over at all on the sides. So that definitely made me happy. Uh, most of the time it does. I don't have a problem with that, but didn't have to use any washi. So that was interesting as well. My favorite section of this canvas are the eyes. And also um, I love how the whiskers are. And normally I would have blinged up the whiskers some more, but I think this is just perfect. But I'm going to do a close up of the eyes so you guys can see. But look how pretty that the eyes are. I think those are just absolutely stunning. And then along with the whiskers. And for the accessories, I used a Bella Art Day Nicole tray. This was one of the first ones that I had purchased from them. This is their older version, but purple worked out great. And then I have a pen that is purple. I am not sure where I'd gotten this pen. I've had it for a very long time, but I like how it has the dark purples in the background. And if you can see like these white swirls, that just reminded me of like the whiskers of the leopard here. And so I thought that was the perfect accessory. And then I did use putty from Randa's Crafty Corner. I used the um, putty because that was one of the first, that actually was the first putty that I had tried um, in 2022. So I wanted to use older items for this kit since it was um, older. I thought that um, it deserved, it deserved all the nostalgia. Hope that you enjoyed this video. I will put a link down of Diamond Art Club and if this one is still available, I'll put the link there too. But just keep in mind that yours may look different because the drills have been updated. Thanks so much and until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.